Yeah. Yeah. You, both of you have uh, come from from adult TV shows, uh, Black Sales, mm. House, of, House of Cards, and Goliath, of mm. course. How's been the change to a family TV show? It's it's funny because it's I I keep it is this show is at least sorry I'm starting in this the show we're making this version of Lost in Space is really uh, sort of trying to do it for everyone in a way so all really you know family so it is also but it it, it is also an adult show and, and and you know it's both. What I mean to say is, I think it will appeal to adults as well as as kids. It's sort of, yeah. It is. It, I mean, it has for me certainly. It has been a gear, gear shift, but it's it's something where you, it, it's it, it's nice actually not having to play something that's so dark, and play something that's slightly more aspirational and has a lightness of touch to it as well. I mean it. It's, it's a nice balance, as Molly was saying, between you know, something that is designed for a family where you've got stuff that will appeal to kids, um, will appeal also to adults who are looking for something that is slightly, you know, is, is, that is couched in some kind of reality. And that, that and everybody, because it's about a family, everybody can identify with that, whether you're a parent, whether you're a kid, well, you know, it, and it's, it's trying to tap into those dynamics that are in families that are real so it's it's couched in this real family where you care about them and it's it's aspirational but it's also that's what i was trying to say <laughs> <laughs> the dynamics of a family changed you know a lot since mm -hmm. the 60s so mm -hmm. how how's the family now for this version of lost in space you know one of the things that i think is really uh, wonderful about the show is that the gender roles are really updated, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, and so the show has a number of incredibly strong female mm -hmm. characters. Right. Every one of the the women, you know, uh, and girls on the show, without question, can do everything that any of the the men and the boys can do. So it it sort of begins at this place of equanimity and equality, particularly because the show is even 30 years in the future from now, um, where those things are just never questioned, you know? And so I play uh, a woman who's an aerospace engineer and is brilliant and has helped to design these ships and is raising her children. Uh, and, uh, and in some ways, our are the typical sort of gender roles are a little bit switched up in this, even though Toby's character is a soldier and is strong and capable. We, we sort of have almost two alpha, <laughs> alpha. Mm -hmm. um, that that's a little bit of the dynamic between the two of them. But what's great is that that it, it's it's so so the marriage when we first meet them is we slowly glean in the first couple of episodes that they're separated, something has gone wrong. The fact that my character has spent a lot of time away doing military duty at this time on the planet where it, there was all kinds of chaos and trouble and um, it took me away from my family and so that I'm slightly alienated from my own children. I don't quite understand my son. He doesn't quite understand me. Our relationship is, is febrile. And so the, 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 there's this wonderful thing of the fact that this family is actually in quite a fragile place when they crash land and they have to, you know, they have to sort out all of these massive problems about being on this planet. But at the same time, they have to also try and find a way of dealing with one another and what, what, how do we deal with one another? How, what is our marriage and what is my son? And this robot that comes along and then the, he's he's kind of more of a father figure really for the son than, than I am and how does that affect me and and it's it's a kind of really clever way of I mean look, the original Swiss family Robinson did it but we're just taking it another step from from lost in space and, and I know and I, just going back to Molly's thing, I really love the way that it's it, it it messes around with the gender idea you think that there's going to be certain types of stereotypes and they're totally flipped around with without making 
you a know, thing of it. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 subtle. And Since there's um, two of oh. I was going to say, you guys were talking about um, the marriage, and I was going to ask, uh, you know, TV shows, there's either, um, you know, the will they, won't they, or there's the, you know, the broken marriage. There's not a lot of happy married couples um, in television, because apparently, I guess, writers think that's boring, but as a happily married person, like, you, you know, is there going to be that kind of, like, reconnect when then you guys become a unit and it's like us against the world instead of us against each other or i mean just have to wait and see i think but it's, i mean just but the thing those, is those it is aspirational about, it's not yeah. something we don't yeah. want to depress our audience or kind of like oh god life's so crap you know yeah. it's it, it, it's got to be aspirational of like you know you want them to be together and they they're good people who are trying to do the right thing in 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 adverse circumstances um yeah, but you you guys both had previous history. I mean, uh, you got a child from another mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. so how does how's that dynamics? Uh, how much? Well, that's really it's it's just it kind of adds kind of another texture to to this you know to the dynamic. Because I mean, also, you but it's also really not addressed. To be honest, I mean, it's yeah. not that it's not addressed. It's just not a thing. It's just that there. I mean, she is our daughter. No. Period, and I and I at least so far that's yeah. that's where it's Who at. Who knows down know? the line what what, what yeah. number it's. Okay, we're gonna go about two more minutes and then we have to get you guys back. In. I was um, the shift in, in, sorry, go ahead. Uh, the shift in the tone from the original series to this one is like a very noticeable change. It was comedy, and now it's a lot more dramatic. Um, can you talk a little bit about that or the comedy that we will find? Yeah, there's definitely in comedy in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, I think it really it was the, it was an ingredient in the original, which yeah. and also we don't want to make this I mean, kind Parker of like Posey's in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and she's hilarious. Yeah, so there's there is um, a lightness to it, which really but it's is. also this huge adventure, and that was the thing that was surprising to me when we first started because I was thinking about science fiction and I was sort of doing science fiction research and reading science fiction novels and. And it is all of that, but it's also this sort of dirt under your fingernails adventure. Like these people are out on this planet having to survive, fighting for their lives, and in, you know, just encountering these just outrageous circumstances that they have to overcome uh, on a daily basis. I think a lot of the, the, the humor actually comes from the ironic tension of, of it being this massive, great big, you know, this, this you know this science fiction thing but within it you've got this family, this family a domestic yeah. situation mm -hmm. so and they they operate and they do like stop. any family and they that's, do stop that's and where sort of have family conversation you know it's like in the middle of a of the yeah. thing there's some rivalry yeah. between you have to you deal know, with two of the kids sibling thing that, you know yeah and or, somebody's you know you know there's, and, and that's quite to, that's yeah. that's fun yeah. <laughs>